what we're going to do first, we're going to go out around North Pine Island Sound. We're going to chum up some shiners, pilchards, greenbacks, white bait. That's what the locals call them. It depends on where you're from. Hopefully they chum up quick for us. And, uh, and then we're about a three or four minute run. And we're going to see if we can put you on some redfish or snook. Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Mark here, Kid Coach Chiefs Outdoors, and thanks for joining this episode, all right? Who's it gonna be with? It's gonna be with Captain Cliff Seimer of Angling Adventures of Southwest Florida, all right? Captain Cliff is a guy down here, and uh, the Trumpet Kid's got a joint down there, right? It's cold up here, right? I got my J&H freaking sh sweatshirt on. That's how getting cold out. This boat's coming out soon, the duck boat. It's a dash. All right, but this episode we're gonna be hanging out with Captain Cliff and we're gonna be fishing the Matt Lachey area, all right? We're gonna start this off, this is gonna be a qu pretty cool video, all right? It's gonna be basically what he does down in Southwest Florida to catch snook, redfish, mangrove snappers, all of the, all of the above, all right? But uh, we're gonna go through all his techniques, how he does it, we're gonna catch some snook, all right? So stay tuned. Let's go into Captain Cliff right now. He's gonna show us how he captures bait and fills the bait wells so we can go out there and do some live presentation to these fish, all right? Captain Cliff, take it away, pal. Just tropical fish food. It's like ground up dog food. Mix it with just salt water, kind of a consistency of a thick mayonnaise. Sometimes we'll use manhaden oil mixed in with it just to give it a little more scent in the water. And uh, just wait for the wait for the bait. Normally the pinfish will show up first, and then the greenbacks or the shiners they'll they'll show up shortly after. Don't ever get discouraged. Some days you'll have to throw the net 20 times to get 100 bait. Other days it's two throws and you've got four or 500 bait. Depending on the depth of the water and how tall the grass is, sometimes the bait will come in and start eating the chum, you know, to where you can see them really, really well. Other times they'll stay right down in the grass. With the water clear, I'm hoping to, to see them come right up into the into the chum line. I can see a few back down. We like looking at the Christmas tree in the net. Well we're gonna we're gonna be doing some chumming today too. Alright so there you have it right get to the first thing Captain Cliff throws that damn anchor down. I set the camera I cast the thing out 13 seconds I'm on the fish, all right? But what happens? I messed up. Check it out. He's got it. Real. Hell yeah. No, it's quick. Another one popped underneath there. Did you hear it? Yes, I did. Baby snook. That boy. That's the problem with fishing with Captain Cliff here. You have to wait 13 seconds for the first fish. <laughs> don't, don't jinx it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't jinx it. And I just jinxed myself. Oh. I dropped him. I have pressure on it. But there you go right there, right? Mr. Fish, not a big deal, all right? There's no crying in baseball, all right? So let's take a peek now at Captain Cliff's rig, how he rigs up for these fish right now. Very simple stuff. This is a uni knot fluorocarbon, 30 pound liter fluorocarbon with a uni knot. Dentist that loved me. So 30 pound and you do a, what a It's a modif, yeah, just How a, do you join the two? Just, uh, just overlap them and then you make a, make a double. We'll go ahead and show you here. It's like a modified surgeon's knot. Just overlap the two, make a half hitch, run both of them through. It's a lot easier with the hook off. But. Three to four. You know, because I know they're snuck in here, I like to put just that extra 
extra turn in it. The line's already wet, and then you just pull it down. It's a nice little knot. To... And then, yeah, what size hook? Three uh, two one. Two o. Oh. Two o. Oh, and then we're going straight to a shiner. Yep, straight to the shiner, just free lining. The bait gets out there and swims around. And in snooky season. Another name is white bait. White bait, scaled sardines, pilchards. And the shiners, they've got a little bridge of cartilage that runs around. So with these circle hooks, you got to run in, and then it just pops through and then hinges right on that, right underneath that cartilage. I got robbed. Mm. All right, some people up here in the northeast are going to say those hooks look awful small. Two odd hooks with very thin and wide to catch 20 pound snook, whatever. That's what they fish for these big snook. But the truth of it is, my mother drowned all the dumb babies, all right? <gasps> I know. Oh, my, that's so out of line. It is way out of line. That's way out of line, all right? That's, I shouldn't be saying that stuff. All right, but uh, basically what I'm getting at is if Captain Cliff says this is the way you do it down here, so that's the way you do it, all right? I don't freaking make things up. If this stuff works, it works. That's what I'm learning. I'm learning. Everybody's got to learn this stuff, all right? I got the casting down, the hook sets, case additional hook sets, circle hooks, but you get where I'm coming from, all right? So here we go with Captain Cliff with a nice fish. What? I'll oh, take it. I want to see you get. I like you catch them. I think I have a couple. I'm better with foam. A lot of activity in this spot. Jeez Louise. Knuckles up! Oh, <laughs> God. Knuckles up over here. Come back here, Pete. I don't want to fucking cause them a problem. It's you always do, so don't worry about it. <laughs> so come back here, so I can't shoot you with pizza. You thought you have a fish on? Let's bring it together so you can get the thing. Bring it up. Flip. Oh, mine's bigger. <laughs> oh, down the back. <laughs> mine's bigger. Oh, really? <laughs> no doubt. Doubled up. Doubled up on Snooky. Oh, there you go. Damn it. Get out of there, buckethead. No, I think it's just a big mango. It ain't come up yet. It's a head shaker. Can you get lucky and get your red. No, it is. How big that mango is. Yeah, that's a nice one. We'll net that one. Yeah, that's a nice one. I'm gonna bring it to this one. Oh, come here, buddy. Swing and a miss. I'll net that one. Hey, that's, that's a nice size that's one. That's nice. That's a pork chop right there, son. If that was a real pork chop, you would have dove in and ate it, chubby. I mean, for an inch or a mango, it's a nice one. You got some big hands there. You're making my fish look small. Yeah. They've got a pit bull grip, too. Decent? Yeah, oh, hurts. yeah. They, I, I swear their jaws come out and get you three inches. You do not get your finger around their, around their mouth. Let's see if I can get him to snap. <laughs> Yeah, he's on video. But that's mangrove snapper. snapper. Good eating right there. Mangrove snapper is probably one of the best fish down there, right? But now, it's a beautiful place down there, right? So I'm going to take you for a quick ride through the Everglades. Is it the Everglades? No, it's not the Everglades. It's through the mangroves. That's it. I'm going to take a quick ride through the mangroves, right? Show you how nice this place down here is. Matt Lachey. All right? Sit back, enjoy the ride. Guess a thing.
folks consider subscribing below and hit that like button if you like. And follow the Chubby Kid on Instagram at KitcoCheese underscore outdoors. show you this here is normal gills right here is like a serrated knife edge and as these fish mature they learn to flare those gills out which cuts us off a lot oh okay cut you off yeah cut your hands and stuff. oh yeah go back home awesome awesome all right, so one of you guys at least have to say that's a nice place down there, right? Matt Lachey is a killed little town down there. And uh, how's that segue into a con shout -out? I don't know. But this week's con shout -out is sponsored by Tony Masha Products and Tidal Tail Jigs, all right? If you guys don't use Tony Masha and Tidal Tails, you may need to see a psychiatrist, all right? Talk about the best in the business, all right? This week's con shout -out, who is it going to be? It's Jackie Lamontan. La Montagne. La Montagne. I don't know how they pronounce that word. It's French, all right? Jackie Lamontage, her husband Paul, all right, reaches out to the kid for a kind of shout out for his wife, all right? Seriously, it looks like he's driving past uh, step aerobics and sees Jackie in there doing step aerobics. Because that's what she's wearing, it looks like the outfit. But if you look closely to her boots, she's technically in fishing gear, all right? And I'm a trained observer, right? Homicide detective, all that stuff right now. I can tell by this photograph that Jackie knows her stuff right there. This is not her first rodeo catching fish, all right? Check out the proper stance proper hold on that fishing rod and she's into the fish that ball's accurate with this stuff all right so she's no joke obviously that freaking boat looks like paul has run some type of commercial thing there and it's not his first rodeo all right so congratulations to jackie and to paul my boy over there in rhode island that is for being this week's con shadow of the week all right next stand by everybody yeah the president is in town that is president jack Bertini, all right, president of Lord Melville Fishing Club, which is one of the coolest freaking clubs on Long Island. Now we're gonna go into Jack right now. Jack right now, or oh, hold on, I'm gonna have to do something. Stay there. So right now you guys see Jack right there holding an Albie. You're probably gonna wonder how he caught the Albie. Well, check this out. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> exactly with the hoagie jig. All right, players, players, and player hey, haters. There goes the con hat right there. This rest of this video is gonna be in the hoagie hat. All right. But Jack right there went out, shot the lock off his wallet, went out, picked up a hoagie epoxy jig, launched that thing in the heavy seas, and got himself a nice albie right there. Also, somebody must have swam around the water, said, hey, the president's out here, and he went into undercover mode right now. Check him out right now. He's in undercover mode. You can't hide on the kid, though. I know what's going on out there, right? That's also Jack right there with a nice blackfish. The kid's out there burning up the freaking water right there, all right? So congratulations to Jack Bertini. It's Jackie for being this week's con shout out of the week. Now where are we going with this? We're gonna get to Cliff in a little bit, how to hook up with Cliff, but let's go into Pete. Now Pete is the owner operator of Blue Water Detailing, right down in Tampa, Toppin Springs area. He's one of the only guys certified in the state of Florida to be able to detail planes and boats. Alright, the guy is a meticulous guy, runs a great operation down there. Blue water detailing, alright. I'll leave all the contact information in the details below all that other stuff but Pete and I he fancies himself as a chef too all right so we're gonna take this right out right now we're gonna show what we did with that uh, mangrove snap all right seriously that stuff's cash money guess a dish made a mooch there's your catch and cook mangrove snappers we're making fish tacos today Southwest Florida style caught in Pine Island Sound You gotta, you gotta use honey diet. Is that what's in there? Honey, extra virgin olive oil, Cholula, garlics. Right. You do yours, I'll do mine. So this is, this is a toasted? Quick toast, 30 seconds. Yeah, that's a good shot. Or a flat drum or something. That's a 
nice fish. Oh yeah. That's a little bit better. That's a trout. That's a big one right there. I think it's a red fish. The problem with the bigger ones get to the water. You get so hundreds of 40, 50, 60 pounders. The smaller ones get up on a structure like this. Just let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Real Time Florida Sportsman is brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. Talking ability is going to be a six foot title swing today. Now that is huge. I'm used to a one or two foot title swing. Six feet is massive. And what that means is you're fishing. ACOC. This one either. That one sounds better. So you try to get him on this side. Sure. Head up, head up. There you go. Out of board. Nice. Good job. Look. Perfect hook set right in the corner. A little better for the man. It's a nice nook. Good luck, kiss. All right, Cliff, how do people get in touch with you, bro? Just, you can uh, Google Angling Adventures of Southwest Florida or just Google Cliff Simer and look for the links. Yeah, my number is 239-872-3731. Give me a ring and hopefully we can book you a trip. Hey folks, thanks for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. And if you're down in the Southwest Florida area, definitely look up Captain Cliff Simer. He is a master at his trade down there, and he's a great guy. Also a local fireman, so all you public servants, first responders, go down there. It's an easy fit for you guys and girls, all right? Check him out. His information is down in the uh, details below. Again, Cliff Simer, Southwest Florida Fishing. There's nobody better. Yeah.